what is correct about this antenna? Well, this part is 24 millimeters long. This means that this will take out most of the interference that is, that is uh, produced when transmitting a very strong uh, 2.4 gigahertz signal. This part is exactly from right there to right there is exactly 29 millimeters. This part is exactly 29 millimeters. So these are same length and this part is 24. And what this does is this takes out all the interference of other frequencies and this part makes sure that you can uh, give it a direction. So for example, if I bend it up, I, give, I get a way more directional beam because this is a grounded part that is exactly the same length and the same radio frequency as this part. So that's what makes this directional. And because you're filtering out a part, this uh, signal actually gets uh, re uh, received better uh, in the way you transmit it, in the directional way you bend this little prong. You can also install multiple prongs, but one prong is um, enough because you don't want it to be too directional because sometimes you fly behind yourself or uh, above yourself and then this will be just enough to guarantee that you always have a signal. One, the one most important piece of research that I've used to make this is that this part is actually not 32 millimeters, which is the quarter wavelength of the 2.4 gigahertz signal that we're using, but it's actually 29. So why is it 29? Well, I will tell you, um, actually something uh, goes into this, it's called the shortening factor. And it's the shortening factor is basically saying that um, when you want to transmit a very uh, good signal, this part only has to be uh, a millimeter shorter than what you think it would be because for some reason these uh, thicker coaxial cables because I'm using some really thick cable right here normally in these uh, transmitters if you open them up there's like a really thin piece of wire in there and that's exactly 32 uh, millimeters long but when you're using thicker cable thicker is always better for RF uh, frequencies you have to use a really short piece This is like like three quarter wavelength this is a quarter wavelength and this is 24 millimeters which will take out all of the not used frequencies and that is why it's this is called an anti-interference band this is also uh, in most of these uh, antennas uh, but the thing that they don't get correct is the, the, the length of this the length of the dipole and the length of, uh, because dipole means like two poles, uh, and the length of the pole. This is really thick wire and you need a dipole with a length of 29 uh, millimeters, especially if you're using, because the, the, the wire in these is really thin. It's only, I don't know, like one fifth of a millimeter wide, even thinner than this is, for example. And this is, uh, yeah really thick so you can shorten this to 29 millimeters because of the shortening factor and i will put some uh, links in the description as how this works and why it works so now we have the rudimentary form of this antenna completed we have a, a nice band 
of um, solder that's wrapped around this part where uh, the frequency is mostly uh, formed. So, and then we have the RF shielding, 24 uh, millimeters. Then we have the dipole. Uh, so let's cut this thing to length. Okay, so it's very important. You start here and you end 29 millimeters up to there. So there we have it, 29. Part. And now let's make the uh, the other part. So first of all, this has to be 95 uh, centimeters now. We know that it's 95. So then we have six millimeters off to make the soldering end. Okay, so you can see I have it at three millimeters. So this is the part that I can use uh, to play around with, so that's not that much. Right, so how is this signal wired? So this is ground, all this is ground, even the dipole is ground. And this is your signal wire. So if you want to measure whether you have done a good job soldering and if you haven't made any, um, and if you haven't broken the coaxial part, you can uh, grab yourself um, a multimeter and try to find uh, whether uh, these parts are actually interfering or uh, shorted out. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so we're, here we're going to hear a beep. So this part is uh, connected, and now this part should be uh, quiet. So here we have zero resistance. So there's a zero resistance between this wire and this wire. Two grams. So you're gonna add two grams, but you're gonna get double the range. I mean, this is a three quarter wavelength. This is a quarter wavelength. For for my Silverex. Uh, craft like this one and it will be grounded with any ground wire that I can find the battery eliminator circuit and I will use a uh, ground from that to uh, ground it out because you always want l less than five millimeters of uh, unshielded because when you have more this will make interference as well so thank you guys for watching this is the best antenna that I've found, that I, the best antenna design that I've found that I can use on uh, very light uh, quadcopters. And uh, some people use more of these tiny uh, dipoles, but I found it with one being directional, it's fine and it's good, it's very good.